Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to um, get Dtunes for your um, 4.0 software for your iTouch. Um, it's not actually Dtunes, but it works just as well, if not better. And I can get the same artwork, and you can rename the file. So first what you want to do is, um, you're going to want to download iPhone Browser. I'll put that in the description. And you're going to open that up, plug in your iPod to your computer. And you're going to see a thing called applications right up there. You can't really see it, but. And you can take a minute to load. Okay, one sec. It just loads right down there once that bar gets across. Right there. Okay, it's loaded. Now, you're going to need to download Dtunes just to get the art artwork first, and then you'll click on Dtunes, and you'll see a file called icon.png. What you're going to do is right-click, press Save As, and capital D, and then O-W-N-L-O-A-D-S, just regular, not capital, and then save that file. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is, um, you want to go to your documents where you saved it. Yeah, make sure you save it to your documents. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. Alright, mine is in downloads. Alright. And there's my download things right there. It's right there. It doesn't, mine is not showing the thing, but... Alright, and then you want to go down, scroll down on this list, and find where it says Stash. And then make sure you have Winterboard installed, and click on Themes. And, okay. Alright. Now, what you're going to want to do is... <coughs> excuse me, sorry. You're going to want to make a folder in My Documents called Icons, with a capital I and then C-O-N-S, just regular. Okay, and then once you do that, you're going to want to put the download file that you had in that icons folder. So, right there. And then you're going to go back to where I said, um, to this themes. And you're just going to drag the icon folder over to it. Over to this little bar right here. So drag your icons right into this box. Okay, once you do that, you're going to want to get your iPod. Okay, and you're going to want to go to Winterboard. Alright, sorry, you can't really see. Press Select Themes. And you want to go to where you said you typed it as icons. And you click that, and then it will respring, or you can respring it. And then it will show up like that, like the iTunes thing. And it will it will show this picture, but it will say downloads. So what you need to do is you need to go on Cydia. And you need to install a source called All Sources. So go to the search bar and type in All Sources. Okay. And you open Cydia. Now, if you go to the search bar and you type in all sources and it doesn't show up, I'll show you what you do. Unless you haven't already done this. So, let me just load this up. Let's take one sec. Alright, now it's going to load up like this. And you're going to go to sections down there. Wait, one sec. Loading changes. It's really slow on the iPod. And I just restored mine, so I installed all, all the all sources app. And all right, here we go. Go to sections, and if you if you type in under search and it doesn't show up want to go to there here and type in respiratories right here go into this little folder 
and see I have all sources maybe you don't see it but you want to scroll down if you don't see it okay and you'll see one that says Steph Wiz Steph Wiz right there and you want to um, download that and then you'll have the all sources and then install all sources and then you want to go to search and download an app called Rename R-E-N-A-M-E -E, okay and get that once you have Rename you just you go onto your thing I hit it so because I don't really need to use it anymore but it will be on your list and it will open like this okay and you will click down here this one right here and it will say downloads with the picture of the dtunes things and you'll change it to dtunes if you want to rename it like that and then you open dtunes yes it looks a little different you know go to for share to bmp3 whatever you want okay so I'm just gonna think of one fireflies whatever and yes owl city is awesome okay there's fireflies oh wait that link is invalid let me okay here we go okay then just wait a couple we'll wait a little while once it's 47 seconds so and if you guys have any problems with this just let me know and I'll try to help you out and let me know what's happened because it was kind of confusing when I was doing it. Alright, so I'm just with this. Okay, well, it backed out for some reason. But anyways, you'll click, click here to download file. And then you'll click the download, and it will go in this second bar over here, and it will be downloaded. And then, go to your files. And look. Should be playing. You turn the volume. Oh, sorry, the volume. Okay, I'm gonna close it. You see? Details. 4.0 software, pretty do you? I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you just gotta trust me. Because I wouldn't be making this video. Okay. Well, I have 4.0.2, um, the new software, which works for the same, or 4.0 works. So that is how you get details basically for your iPod Touch because Boss Touch is not working and you cannot get the download and um, install. If you guys have any questions, like I said, just let me know. Um, thanks for watching my video. Please comment and subscribe, and thank you for watching.